What is the difference between a million and a billion? Today we're going to look at the orders of magnitude and some really big numbers. This will come in handy for some future videos, but it's also pretty interesting to try and get your head around massive numbers. Humans find it really hard to visualise big numbers, and we play tricks on ourselves with the way we write them down. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be using the short scale. So in base 10 we go 1, 10, 100, 1000. Pretty easy so far, and well within our grasp of understanding. We're going to be using examples in seconds in these videos to try and get our heads around things a bit more. So the first example we've got here is a thousand seconds, which is 16.7 minutes. Okay, so then we ramp up to 10,000, 100,000, and our first nice little milestone, a million. We can't easily imagine what a million is, so we have to use analogies. And here you can see a million seconds is about 11 and a half days. Skipping forward a bit, the next number we're really interested in is one billion. Because of the way we write the numbers, a billion doesn't really look that much bigger than a million. It's just a few extra zeros here and there. Even with the scientific notation, it's only three numbers more than a million. 10 to the 6 goes to 10 to the 9. How much bigger can it really be? But when we work it out in seconds, we realise that it's 31.7 years. Okay, so above this point, we start to lose it a bit. We hear people say billion quite a lot. It's used in money and in population and that sort of thing. The next level up is trillion. And this is where writing out the zeros reaches the limit of usefulness and we start to simplify using powers of 10. So you can see here a trillion is 10 to the 12. A trillion is to a billion what a billion is to a million. So a trillion seconds is 31,000 years. And humans just can't reconcile the differences between these huge numbers. But given human civilization has been around for about 12,000 years, a trillion seconds is longer than entire human history. There are six trillion miles in a light year. There's about a trillion fish in the world. And 150,000 gallons of water goes over Niagara Falls every single second. At this rate, it would take 77 days to get to a trillion gallons. From here on, we're going to go up three orders of magnitude at a time. So the next one is a quadrillion, 10 to the 15, sometimes called a million billion. And a quadrillion seconds is 31 million years. A quadrillion gallons of water would cover the entire continental United States in 1 foot 7 inches of water. Next stop is quintillion, or a billion billion. And it's above this point where numbers sort of stop being useful outside their own interest. It would take about 28 years for all the humans in the world to speak this many words. It's also the number of atoms in a grain of salt, and 7 quintillion is the number of grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. Okay, the last big number on our list today is going to be sextillion, or 10 to the 21. A sextillion gallons of water is three times more water than there is on the entire of the Earth. And we reckon there's about 300 sextillion stars in the observable universe. A sextillion carbon atoms would make a cube around 1.3 millimetres wide. So it just goes to show that atoms are really small. Okay, we're not going to bust any more brains today. But future videos are going to go way beyond these numbers. Please subscribe if you find this sort of stuff interesting. 